and we are up at the top away from the crossing and we've caught up with the wildebeest that made it across the Mara River and we've been following this lost little chap to see whether or not it manages to find mum once again. It's always slightly upsetting to see them afterwards because in the chaos they invariably become separated from their mums. There's another lost little one. Keep calling. You can see it calling. Call for your mum. And just like with most animals, mothers will recognize the individual sound of their offspring, even though it sounds exactly the same to the rest of us. They recognize it's to, as individual to them as a mother's child is to a human being. Keep calling, come on. I know there's a lot of wildebeest here. This is the equivalent of losing your mum in a really, really big grocery store after, you know, life or death struggle. So maybe not quite the equivalent. Stopping to take a bit of a break. Of course, the heartbreaking thing is not every mother makes it out of the river crossings. Not every calf does. Where's your mum? I was thinking about it yesterday. I think it was yesterday. I've lost, I've lost track of days. Is that your mum? Is that mum? Don't know. No, clearly not. I was thinking about it yesterday, but it would be the most extraordinary thing to follow one, just, okay, I, I admit it probably would be impossible to do, follow just one wildebeest calf or one zebra foal through the migration from Tanzania, follow it every day, figure out what it does. I don't know, you'd probably have to collar it. And I'm not sure. I, I think you'd learn something interesting from just about their movements because the wildebeest have all crossed over the Mara River into the Mara Triangle and now a whole load of them are crossing back. And it seems so pointless, but there's meaning to what they do. There must be. Come on, little one. Keep calling. Keep calling. Somewhere, hopefully, in the thousands of wildebeest in front of you, Mum is waiting. That little one on the right is having a rest. Exhausted after the struggle. There you go. Go join the rest of the young ones in your herd. You'll be okay there. Quick sniff to see if this is Mum. Not sure if it is mum, but it seems to be tolerant enough. There you go, little one. You settle there. Have a rest, regain your strength. Aaron, having watched that crossing, you want to know how many wildebeest will be injured by sharp rocks when crossing. I don't know, I suppose it depends upon where they cross, but I imagine quite a few of them. They are very agile creatures despite the the you sort of think when you look at their sharp hooves that that wouldn't be very good for balancing but we of course know that not to be true you get those goats that climb up almost vertical dam walls and cliff faces so a cloven hoof does actually work quite well for gripping and their toes can splay to help to provide them with a little bit of extra balance but those rocks i mean there was no way they could f make their way across those rocks without falling it's slipping they were so clearly so slippery, so I imagine it's actually pretty common. I'm not sure though exactly what the statistic would be. I couldn't give you a, a quantitative answer. Lots, I imagine. It's the most astounding scene out here, right up in the corner next to the airstrip, the Kichwatemba airstrip and the rest of them making their way back towards a further, a further river crossing, but to go the other way, not the way that our wildebeest have just come. And a little bit earlier on, Ferguson arrived and I arrived here about an hour ago, and they were all massing on the bank to go the other way. Now they seem to have changed their mind. Let's see what they decide to do throughout the course of the afternoon.
that's not a wildebeest. That's an elephant. <clears throat> we were watching them chase the wildebeest round earlier. It was quite entertaining. Uh, going back to our sad scene of earlier, Leopard Mother, you would like to know about our poor little wildebeest calf. And remember, we don't know that it's orphaned yet. Um, we do know that it is looking for mum, but we don't know that it could easily find her. I don't know where it's gone now. I've lost track of it. But Leopard Mother, no, another female will not adopt a wildebeest calf. They are very much bonded and what's the word, and, and actually quite possessive over their own calves. And I've seen the odd wildebeest butt a youngster that got her confused with its own mother. So no, they don't adopt them. Cases of adoption in animal societies are rare. It does happen, but it is unusual. And particularly in something like an antelope species. They're just streaming in. And they don't seem like they're moving fast, but they just keep coming. Oh, there it is. It, it, mm, no, that's not it. We, Noel, you would like to know about our little, our little calf and whether or not it is old enough to eat grass yet. I think that's it there, Ferg. That the other wildebeest are kind of stepping around. If you look a little bit to the left, or oh, that might just be another wildebeest calf. I have to be honest. I have absolutely no idea how to identify them, but I think that's it, and I think that its companions just moved away. Now, Noel, it's absolutely old enough to eat grass, it's fully weaned, and it will be able to survive, even if mum isn't around. It'll be fine, and you can see it's actually sitting ruminating as we speak. So in terms of keeping itself fed, it will be fine. It'll stay together with the rest of the herd for as long as it can, and let's put it this way, it certainly will never be lonely. I'm pretty sure that's it. Pragmatically taking a moment to ruminate. I suppose I also wouldn't want to face the horrors of the Mara River with, on an empty stomach. They've just crossed from east to west and this stream of wildebeest moving behind it are now aiming to cross from west to east. Strange. Massing slowly but surely towards that other crossing. I wonder whether or not this little one will be dragged along back across again. Or if it will decide to stay, or at least the herd will decide to stay in the Mara Triangle for a bit longer. Or will it be forced to face the gauntlet twice in one day? In the confusion of herd movements. Backwards and forwards. Okay, little one. Good luck. I hope you find your mum. We're going to go and find a good point to view the crossing a little bit further upstream of where we have been. And speaking of seeking things, it sounds as though 